terminal. Mine is already loose. focus on removing the, the air intake. I'm going to try to leave this in place. So. I mean, I can, for mine, I don't need to fix flatheads. So we're moving the original one, which we're going to need a bunch of torques. Torques, keys, and uh, your flathead to pry this off. Just a little bit. That's kind of easy because I have a flux, flux pipe here. And this part's a little bit trickier. So I'm going to remove this piece right here. Right. There goes the intake. Here. Right, so here is the module. Well, actually, that's the pump. The module is behind it. So I'm going to have to remove the pump in order for anything to work, pretty much, for any, for any disassembly of the module to happen. So follow closely. You have to remove those four. Uh, flared nuts, I think that's what they're called, and it's an 11 millimeter key or wrench. This thing right here, this, this is 11, as you can see, if I can show you, it's 11 millimeter. It's not gonna focus, it, trust me, it's an 11 millimeter. I've done this before. Uh, got some towels handy. Okay, so first things first, you gotta stuff a towel down the turbo inlet. Why? You don't want anything going in there. Brake fluid in particular. Uh, now we can begin this assembly. Loosened everything, every one of them right now, just crack them, crack them open.
Yeah, it's out. So we got to the point where we can pretty much remove the, the uh, uh, entire pump assembly with the module on the on the back. If you're wondering what that balloon is, that is me trying to secure on those lines so it can stop leaking. Um, the other ones are not that bad. I don't know why. Anyway, I'll show you the struggles. <laughs> to remove one of these. Oh, by the way, you gotta remove the electrical connector first. You just gotta pull up on the connector. Now oh, the module's free. It needs to be removed. around for 180 and just pull up you don't have to work it out uh, there's no clear way to tell you how to do this there you go This is it, my friends. Let's go upstairs up upstairs and take a look. Hey, how's everyone doing? Uh, so here we are inside. Um, and this is pretty much the problem maker. Uh, actually, this this black part is the module itself, the ABS module. Uh, this is the one that's used on my 2009 GTI. Yours might be different, so check with your dealer, your authorized Volkswagen dealer. Um, pretty much I would have to remove this and replace it with my brand new one. There's no way around it. Volkswagen controls the market on these and they're ridiculously inflated prices. But there's nothing you can do fix that. Well, go along with it. Uh, I'm going to show you pretty much how to take it apart, put the new one in, so just uh, watch carefully. Alright, so here's the, this is the pump section. And this is the ABS control module. Uh, what we're, we have to do is remove it, separate these from each other. And by the, 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 this module, the module, the control module is secured with a Torx screw. So let's see if this one, this one looks like it fits. Um, it's going to use like a simple driver and obviously my Torx and there's four of them right here this one's missing because I because I did this before attempting to avoid more costly solutions and uh, failed so let's take the bolts apart we have new screws by the way we have brand new screws uh, that came with the new module they're just they're the same as this just as good and Remove all of these. There's four. One here, one here, one here, one here. Okay. 
we should just pull out. Just be be careful. Uh, they're not that sensitive, really, quite frankly. And uh, just pull gently. And make sure the make sure the, the the screws out fully. And now it is. There you go. Yeah, I drop. I drop off the screws. That's all right. Cause they're right here on the floor. <laughs> Found them. Yeah. Uh, and here is the, the problem. Um, uh, pretty much, yeah. I can hear something loose inside. This is how a Volkswagen. ABS module looks like this is what's on the back. This thing, this is good info, by the way. So, yeah. Yeah. hope the camera can focus. Stay information that you need to confirm when you're getting a new one. Now, I have the revised model the version of the of the module, so I have a, pretty much the latest one that when I got it replaced. But <clears throat> these right here, these numbers. What really matter? Not the AD at the last. They, even that, if you get an identical AD, then you're getting the same old thing. If you're getting like a different two letters at the end, you're just getting the revised, revised mo module or model. So that's the last little connector I had to pull out last. And by the way, when you get your new one in, the job's not done. You got to reprogram it. I don't know how to do that. You have to go to the dealer to do that. And this right here, it's the ABS pump. Uh, we're going to be replacing all this plastic seals. There are plastic seals. See these plastic seals right here? I'm going to be replacing that because while well, they came in, in the kit, might as well well replace everything in the kit, everything given in the kit. Um, yeah. Just uh, tiny seals, make sure everything's clean. By the looks of it, yeah, it's pretty clean. And yeah, just uh, that's pretty much the pump. Uh, how do I know that my module's broken? Well, first of all, my speedometer was acting up. If your speedometer is acting out, it could mean that the final drive sensor is bad, but my speedometer was going back and forth, my ABS light was on and was flickering on and out, meaning there's an electrical issue with the module, multiple electrical failures with the module. Um, when I, and obviously I had a scan tool and I put my scan tool in there, and yeah, pretty much uh, did the trick. <laughs> Did the trick of, of uh, confirming my diagnostics. So here's the the new module. Straight out of the dealer. It's my receipt. Some paper came with it. The new module. I know it's looking big. It's looking big, but they just put some extra layer of protection on it. And this right here is just so you can clog up these little things. Obviously, they give you the screws to screw the module back into the pump, and that's that's like to clog up the pump. But I'm gonna be installing it back in there. I don't need to like do any of that. And that's the little seals I was talking about. Obviously, they give you uh, some paper. It's an ATE, ATT, I believe, module. Just for those of you, if, you, if you're wondering, uh, before I open anything or replace any of the seals, 
take a look to make sure we got the right part. I, I took a look at it at the dealer and it looked legit. I checked the numbers and everything. Keep in mind the minute you open this, it's done. You can return, you can accept parts that are uh, that are open, electrical parts that are open. You can hardly see through it, but you know. Looks legit, it's got that Volkswagen logo, everything that uh, this one has, so I'm pretty confident that this time that we have the correct part. Um, yeah, I'm pretty confident right now that we have the correct part, and where is my knife? Oh, sorry, here. Sure, I got the correct part, just going to open this. And, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's open, it's done. <laughs> and Yeah, I can, there's like almost no difference, just, you know, it's new, it hasn't been used. Mm, let's see, now I can read the des description on the back, uh, it's from ATT, same company. Uh, as you can see, revised, it's A-N on the back instead of A-D. I don't know if you can see all that. But it's just, I think it's just a re revised v uh, version. Uh, it's, it's made in Hungary. Um, the, these things usually are made in Hungary, so just like the engine and stuff. Unless you get like the, like a side or something like that or they're usually like a they're made in like base models and stuff like that I think some of them are made in Mexico assembled in Mexico and stuff like that my car is specifically assembled in uh, in, uh, in Germany and my and my engine was made in uh, in Hungary so uh, let's go ahead and uh, remove I mean, replace, matter of fact, replace these uh, little seals, um, these little dust covered here. Um, just like you could take them off either using a knife or something. Let me zoom you in so you can, uh, can take, let me bring you closer to what I'm doing right here. Very, uh, very cool stuff, I guess. And, uh, just be gentle. You know, just like, very nicely. You know, just, this is, uh, don't look damaged, but if, you know, if I got new stuff, might as well use the new stuff. You don't know, maybe there might be some slight changes that they made. I wouldn't know. And yes, I, I washed this a little bit. Yeah, I just gotta make sure there's no more water in there. Make sure you make sure you install these the correct way. Just going on that. Just slides in, in there. Makes like a nice seal. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all these. And obviously you don't need to see that. Now I'm going to install the, the module. Alright, so this is uh, the pump with all the seals installed. The brand new seal, seals installed. And now I'm going to uh, put the brand new module. The 
this one, I'm going to um, install it. Um, I will do so now. And there, and there's like only one way to kind of install it. You can't, you can't do it this way because see this piece right here needs to go in this little hole right there. Right there, there's a hole. And this little connector right here on the bottom needs to be connected with this particular gold connector right here. So we're gonna go in this way with the electrical harness connector. So just slightly push this. Make sure it fits. If it's the correct part, it'll fit perfectly. And it's, on mine, it's, it's a tight fit. I mean, it's a good fit. And I'm going to break this little. Yeah, these are the caps I was talking about earlier. These are just if you want to these on the ends of the, the brake pump. Uh, it's not really necessary. If you want to, you can go ahead and to protect these. Um, black ones are for the returns. Those that go back into the master cylinder. So, it's a nice way to protect your pump, make it look weird, <laughs> even though it's not new. Only this section is new. And, uh, yeah, these are, and these are the little screws right here. Gave us brand new, brand new screws, there, there you go, yeah, focus. Like brand new screws and flip this over, land them in there somehow. That didn't work, just you know, patience. No. I will take this off, but. Man, I don't want to. One thing I noticed on this particular one, this revised version, I guess, this thing is the inscription is upside down. But, uh, whatever. Whatever floats, boat, like this boat. There you go. Put the other one in. Just, uh, just like put them in there and uh, don't run them down completely. Just hang on a second and put them all, uh, tie them up snug, nice and snug. There you go. Don't, don't run them down completely. See how it's upside down? Goes. Actually, no, it is, it's alright. Um, it's upside down on that one, too. So. I'll run these down. Hang on a second. Okay. That's that. That's that. Uh, you just have to you gotta run them down. Make sure they're make sure it's tight. Uh, there's no need to run them down. Like it's, when when you put in your your lines, your brake lines, don't run them down like crazy because this is an aluminum casing. And also, you don't want to strip these 
screws out or anything. Uh, yeah, I believe we're, we're done. Just got to put this back on the car. This entire thing. Um, get, there are other cars, by the way. We, can, we don't even need to, re to remove the pump, but in this car you have to remove the pump in order for you to, to get a gain access to this module, which, I, which failed on me. Do I like the design? No, I don't. But, uh, whatever. My phone's ringing. So, uh, we're back under the hood of our car. Here's the module. Make sure, uh, before you actually start putting this stuff back together, make sure everything's clean here. That's a good suggestion. Turbo, make sure it's covered. And one junk going in there. And put it back. Put some of my tools around here. Just uh, let's put the module back in there. This is it. We'll remove the caps, the plastic caps later on. Just remember when you put it in, do it like this with the black cover facing you. Just wiggle it around. Lift up the brake lines a little bit. Just gotta set it down. So you guys can see this. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is install the electrical harness because I just want that to be connected and not exposed. This particular one right here. Make sure it's clean. I'll try to give you a better look of what I'm doing. Trying to like thread these in. These have to be threaded in like so. It's gonna be very hard with the camera, but I'm just gonna give you a quick snapshot. What you have to put all these in. And now this connector right here, this has a security tab right over here. You just have to pull it back off if you want to take it out. Position this and pull it back down, push it back down when you're done. This right here, these are a little bit more hard. You just got to get this in position. What you got with one start, it should be a little easier. Just uh, follow along.